Hello, it's Mike from Performance Revolution here. In this video, I'm gonna go over what you should and should not be doing in your warm up for weights. Hold on, I gotta warm up. I don't wanna pull a hemi. Yes, everyone should be warming up before weights, but unless you're quite cold and stiff, warming up with cardio and getting on a bike or a treadmill before a strength session is a complete waste of time and it won't protect you from injury or increase your performance. The problem most people have with warm ups is specificity. They're doing too much random or fancy crap and not warming up the specific exercises that they're gonna do in their main workout. For instance, warming up on a treadmill before squats or doing 101 mobility exercises when you're only gonna go train your chest in the main workout is a big waste of time. So what makes a good warm up? Well the answer to that question depends on what you're warming up for. If you're doing weighted squats, you should be using weighted squats to warm up with. If you're warming up for a bench press, you should be using bench presses to warm up. Sure you might have some specific mobility exercises for the joints involved or have some weak points you're looking out for like activating your glutes for your squats or your rotator cuff for your upper body work. However if you're doing a warm up workout as well as a main workout, you've got it all wrong. Your warm up shouldn't be entirely separate from your main workout. And this is where people are naive to two different warm up types. There's a general warm up and then there's a specific warm up. A general warm up uses a number of general movements to prepare your body for movement as a whole. An example of this would be warming up on an elliptical machine or a treadmill. A general warm up is good for increasing blood flow and your body temperature. However, it does not get your nervous system primed for the specific exercises and loads you're about to lift in your main workout. And this is where a specific warm up comes into play. This kind of warm up is far more important and can be used as both primary nervous system and as a general warm up for specific muscles and areas involved in the main workout. An example of a specific warm up would be doing lighter reps for major exercises like squats and presses that gradually build up set by set without fatigue towards the weight used in the main working sets. By doing a specific warm up like this, you're simply getting a feel for the loads and the movements in your main workout, but you're doing so without taxing your body in the process. Now notice I mentioned major exercises in the specific warm up example. This is because the greater the intensity and the more muscles involved, the greater the warm up required. The smaller the exercise and the lighter the overall intensity, the less of a warm up is required. So unless you're doing activation and control drills for weak points, your smaller muscle groups and movements don't really need much of a warm up as your larger ones. Especially if these smaller muscle groups are being worked after compound lifts that utilize some of these smaller muscle groups anyway. So in a nutshell, it should now make sense that warming up for weight training using a bike or a treadmill is not the best way to get ready for a weights workout, especially if you're going to execute exercises using different muscles and in different ways. It should now also make sense why it's unnecessary to do full body mobility workouts before your main workouts using unspecific exercises and loading patterns. Instead for your warm ups, focus on exercises specific to the main workout exercises and only do activation, control and mobility exercises that are specific to your weaknesses or your individual areas of concern. Otherwise you're just wasting your time and energy and you're actually not protecting yourself from injury or making your main workout any better. If you're interested to learn more about how to warm up for weight training and what sort of exercises and loading parameters you should use, then make sure you read the description of this video and feel free to drop a comment or message us with your feedback or questions. Also feel free to like this video if you found it helpful and simply follow or subscribe to the Performance Revolution channel so you don't miss any of our future training and information videos. Thanks and see you next time.